Thanks to sculptures, gravestones, statues and documents surviving from the time, we have a good idea of how people would dress in the Roman Empire and along its frontiers. On the Antonine Wall, we have this sculpture from Croy Hill that shows three legionaries wearing armour and holding shields, spears and helmets. The way the statues of gods are dressed also give a good idea of the legionaries' outfits. Letters found at Vindolanda offer a glimpse into day-to-day -day wear and basic need of socks and underwear. Of duty, soldiers probably wore simple tunics, while higher ranking officials would have worn togas in a style similar to those seen here on the right of the bridge Neslab. Women and children's shoes are found all along the wall, and just like today, were often elaborate and highly decorated with lacings and stamped decorations. While children wore simple tunics, women wore a dress called a stola, with a long shawl called a pala dropped over it. You can see it in this gravestone found at Ohindavi, probably the wife of a commanding officer. With evidence from other sites around the Roman Empire, we know that people were likely dressed in layers of tunic, togas and cloaks. Color traces on sculptures and statues also give an interesting insight about clothing. Romans in Scotland would also have dressed according to the weather, so heavy woolen cloaks and trousers would be expected.